welcome to the Pembroke Pines Police Department. I'm Chief Dan Justino, and I would like to introduce you to the outstanding law enforcement services provided by the dedicated men and women of our department. The mission of the Pembroke Pines Police Department is to be a premier law enforcement agency through professionalism, service, and innovation. Thank you for taking time to watch our video presentation. Information on the Police Department's resources and services can be found on our website, ppines.com slash police. Pembroke Pines ranks as one of the most populous cities in the state of Florida. Pembroke Pines is a lively, diverse community with a healthy commercial environment and where families are thriving. The Pembroke Pines Police Department is committed to keeping the community safe and secure. In this video, you will learn about many of the divisions within the department. You will hear from dedicated police men and women as they explain the challenges of policing one of Florida's largest cities. How the department is well positioned to meet those challenges, utilizing modern technology, state-of-the-art equipment, and comprehensive training. Training is an ongoing process. Sergeant Drew Jacobs is in charge of the police department's training unit. The Pembroke Pines training unit provides training for all new officers once they're hired. Uh, they do in-house training. They provide support while they're at the police academy. And they prepare them to go into their careers on the road. In addition, we provide training on a regular basis for all of our certified police officers. Pembroke Pines Police Department opened up their new facilities approximately three years ago. We have a defensive tactics room, subject control room. We have, a, we have state of the art classrooms, which provide inter interactive learning environment through visual and, and presentation aids. Uh, every officer has to come to our training facility for mandatory training three times a year. And during that training, they are provided with everything from firearms training, requalifications, which is at the state standard. We go a little above and beyond the state standard and have them qualify at least annually. We inspect all of their guns. We have a, a state-of-the-art range as well, firing range, outdoor firing range, where we, uh, we have many different types of targeting systems for them to utilize all different types of weapon systems that they would carry. Uh, we also have, uh, they come back for defensive tactics and subject control every, every uh, year. They have to come back for a class on that, uh, which helps us train our officers to, to use the least amount of force necessary in order to take a, a, a subject into custody. The Pembroke Pines dive team has developed a well-earned reputation of serving the city by responding rapidly and effectively to water-related emergencies. Sergeant Jennifer Martin. The Pembroke Pines Police Dive Rescue Team has 13 members, um, all which are either officers or sergeants um, that are specially trained in public safety diving. The dive team trains all throughout the city of Pembroke Pines. And depending on what kind of training we're doing for that day, we will train at the Academic Village um, within the city of Pembroke Pines at 172nd and Sheridan, or within the waterways within the city. The Pembroke Pines Police Department dive team serves as both a rescue and a recovery function. Rescue is obviously uh, a person actively drowning, and recovery is for evidence, which would include um, evidence of a crime, um, evidence of a traffic crash, if a car went into a canal. The dive team has many pieces of equipment that we use to uh, assist us in our duties. We have two boats, a flat boat and a pontoon boat. Um, we are currently in the process of getting dry suits and full face masks for the entire team. Uh, and we are currently working on a side scan sonar that will assist us in locating equipment. In addition to those uh, pieces of equipment, we have our regular wetsuits, masks, um, tanks. Sergeant Darrell Curtis is with the Pembroke Pines Police Department's Criminal Investigations Division. The Pembroke Pines Police Department has over 30 full-time detectives that are assigned to investigations, and they also have six full-time sergeants that are responsible for supervising the each individual units. Those units range from the Special Victims Unit, which would include any of type of sex crime, child abuse, or missing persons. We have our Robbery Homicide Unit, which is uh, primarily responsible for robberies and homicides, as well as other violent crimes and we have our general crimes unit, which would range from theft, burglary, auto theft, auto crimes, 
And then in addition, we have our Economic Crimes Unit, which is responsible for fraud, identity theft, online scams, um, and our suppression units, which would be our crime suppression teams and our burglary suppression teams. We have a, a separate group of men and women for our crime scene unit that are strictly responsible for processing our crime scenes, which would include photographing, collecting the physical evidence, DNA, trace evidence, blood, those types of things, which would then be processed further in a criminal laboratory. Here at the Pembroke Pines Police Department, computer forensics is extremely important. We have two full-time detectives that are responsible for what we call a forensic download or forensic dump, and that is would be when they go in and extract the digital data and or information from a a cell phone, a tablet, a laptop, or a desktop computer. It's technology, it's not going away, and it's, and it's constantly advancing, and, and we gotta do our part to stay on top of it. In order to better serve the community, the police department has stepped up its efforts in a variety of ways regarding public information. Captain Al Zekas explains. I oversee our media relations unit, which includes our public information officers as well as our social media manager. Uh, the main goal of our uh, media relations unit is to increase communication between the community and the police department. Uh, we believe that it's most important in order to forge strong partnerships with the community, uh, for the community to be involved and informed on all aspects of policing. The goal of us being involved in social media is to further engage with all segments of the community, uh, from Facebook to Twitter to Instagram. Uh, we have interactions with all different uh, segments of the community from the younger generations to more senior citizens and through those forums we're able to gain information and intelligence on cases or issues that are of interest to us to better serve the community and improve the quality of life for all those who live in the city of Pembroke Pines. Sergeant Christopher Chakon Chang has been with the police department for 14 years and has supervised the canine unit for six years. In the Pepper Pines Police Department canine unit, we have six canine handlers and we have six canines. Um, the breeds of those dogs is we have two Belgian Malinois, two German Shepherd Malinois mixes, one Dutch Shepherd and one German Shepherd. All of our patrol dogs are patrol certified. That means that they're trained and certified in tracking and locating at, uh, potential suspects. Additionally, they each have a discipline. Um, four of our canine units are, uh, have a specialty in the locating narcotics, and two of them are, have a, a specialty in locating explosives. We use dogs in certain situations instead of our police officers because even though we love our dogs, like if they were our own children, sometimes there are situations where the risk is too great for regular police officers to go, and the dogs have the special ability by using their nose to find a potential suspect before the human eye can see it. When it comes to animal advocacy, the Pembroke Pines Police Department has an animal assistance program that helps dog owners find their lost pet. Sergeant Stacy Jurgens. A lot of people don't know to call the police department, their local police department, if their dog is lost. They, they just don't know. They call animal control, look online, but they really should call their police department because a lot of times the police department is called to pick up the dog. After the five day hold is up on the dog, we formed a partnership with an organization called Pooches and Pines. They're a 501c3 nonprofit organization and what that allows us to do is actually keep the dog even longer. The 501 will hold on to the dog and try to reunite it or also try to rehome the dog on social media. They post it, they have their own website and their own Facebook page and they do a social media blast and try to find the dog a home. In many situations, the crisis response team works alongside with the police department's SWAT team. My name is Sergeant Keith Forsett. I'm the executive officer of the Pembroke Pines SWAT team, which stands for Special Weapons and Tactics. It's comprised of a 24-man uh, team, 20 that are entry members, These are the individuals that go inside the residence or the structure, four are snipers or marksman observers, 
Uh, we have breachers and we also have a canine unit on the team. We train twice a month for 20 hours. We have additional training in breaching. We have additional training in shield work. We have canine training. And we also train in scenarios such as high-risk warrants, barricade subject, hostage rescue, vehicle takedowns, scenarios like those. Crisis Response Team Police Officer Diana Rairdon. Typically, we get called out for hostage sub situations, barricaded subjects, um, people that are in crisis. We go on scene, we deploy as a team, we usually get called out with our SWAT team. Um, we establish communication and we hope to negotiate with them and have them come out peaceful. Our team is a great resource to have for the Pembroke Pines community. Um, being able to help individuals that are just going through a really difficult time and talk them through this difficult time to prevent them from making a decision they may regret is just very rewarding. The City of Pembroke Pines, the residents should take pride in the fact that not only do they have men and women who are dedicated to protecting and serving them on their day-to-day -day activities, but they also have a, an additional unit that has taken on the additional responsibility and training to respond to critical incidents and to handle these incidents in a professional and safest manner possible. Providing a sound and safe school environment is the job of the school resource officers, Sergeant Edward Berry. One of the key components of a school resource officer is to work directly with the students and the faculty. And part of that, the school resource officer has to maintain a close relationship with the students, not only to provide and promote safety so they feel secure in their educational setting, but also to have the ability to solve problems as they approach. And they cannot do that by themselves unless they have the full commitment of the students and the faculty in the school. Road patrol officers begin each shift with a roll call. Officers receive vital information from the previous 24 hours and prepare for the day's assignments. Sergeant Kevin Venema. The whole road patrol unit, just like our agency, is filled with um, officers, both male and female, and we care. We, we strive to provide a service, we strive to protect citizens, and that's through um, a, a variety of means. When we go out, when someone calls 911 and we show up, we're there to help, we're there to solve a problem, we're there to fix their problem, and I'm confident with our agency that we do that when we show up. And, we, we provide that service to them. It's the officers of the Pembroke Pines Traffic Division who are here to see that our city streets are safe day and night. They conduct regular patrols and enforcement in order to ensure that drivers maintain safe speeds and follow the rules of the road. Sergeant Christopher Singleman. Well, the main focus of the Traffic Division is to promote traffic safety. And to that end, we conduct traffic enforcement with the purpose of making sure that everybody returns home safely to their families and loved ones. The department's Community Affairs Unit helps build and maintain trust and respect between the department and the community. They foster positive and productive programs such as the Citizens Police Academy, the Police Explorers, CERT, Bicycle Safety, Fun and Informative Puppet Shows, and a Student of the Month program featuring everyone's favorite, McGruff the Crime Dog. They provide crime prevention knowledge to residents by reaching out to homeowners associations, civic groups, and the like. In addition, the Community Affairs Unit provides a free of charge service assisting parents with the proper installation of child car safety seats. The Pembroke Pines Police Department is well positioned to meet the challenges of its mission to maintain the highest quality of life and safety for the citizens of Pembroke Pines.